Controlling an empire takes more than raw power. It requires discipline, focus, and precision. Threats must be dealt with quickly and quietly. This is the mission of Imperial Intelligence. As the Empire's most elite agent, I will trace the line between truth and treachery. And I will ensure the Empire achieves galactic domination. Back guys, let's play Star Wars: The Old Republic, Chapter One, Heart of Terror. I'm your fast. Let's get started. So yeah, last time we left off, um, I said I was actually going to do. Um, oh yeah, we actually finished Nashi Down last episode. Yeah, I just said we're going. I was going to do a uh, bulk recording session, but uh, I don't really have the time left for it today. Maybe perhaps I have time to record another episode. But yeah, anyway, let's have a quick chat with Kaleo. Think the hottest smell is off my boots. Should have kicked in more faces while it lasted. All that time in the swamp. Tell me you don't want to go home and keep Nemro company. If I get the urge to see the hut, it'll take me back. In the meantime, though, you and me against the galaxy. Just sweat, blasters, and good times. You shoot high, I'll shoot low. That's the spirit. Let's get moving. Right. So we're clear. Imperial rations are nasty, and I lived on grubs and two-credit wine for a year. They raise you on those things. No wonder you're a bunch of stiffs. I'll request more variety in our supplies next time. Not even a smile. Here's what I don't get. You got a little brass, you got a little style. You're not totally one of them. But you still play Keeper's Pet. Shoot all the right people when you could work for... Huh. <sighs> Whoever. You've seen the people trying to destroy us? The Republic. Terrorists. Traitors. Someone needs to stop them. You're serious? <laughs> That's sweet. Me? I'm in long enough to lay low, pick up some cash, sort out some personal stuff you guys can help with. Then I'm gone. Who knows? I show you a good time, you might change your mind. You're fun, Agent, but you're not that fun. You said you wanted to talk. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No idea what I was going to say. Been distracted. Thinking about home. You never told me where you come from. Red dirt ball of a planet way out near the unknown regions. Life was miserable on Rat Attack. Backwards people living in caves. Big on tribal blood feuds. Almost got stoned to death when I was 12. That's when I knew I had to get out. You're going to have to explain that. When you say stoned... Rocks, fist-sized, thrown at me. My dad was from a cursed family, which is basically tribal propaganda for we want your land. Some great-grandfather of mine was a warlord. Conquer a few tribes and you're a cannibal demon of the summit. How did your father and the others handle it? Kept their pride, hid the loot. Not that I got anything, or I might have stuck around. I hitched a ride on a spice trafficker ship. Figured the big, civilized galaxy would have a place for me. I thought I was going to get accepted. I had to get tough. This spice dealer, did he help you do that? Not him. Other friends, mostly. I don't want to bore you. But it's nice talking like this. We should do it again. You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Gun overheated in the last fight. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? The Empire puts operatives through extensive weapons training. I bet they do. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and Am Spichel hooked up on a tram freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. 
You said her name was Anne Spichel. Twi'lek name. Think they say it easier. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? They must have had quite a reputation. You cross the exchange, they track you down and cut you up. Best we can figure, I torch the place while Ampsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop him. Prove her exchange material. They bought it. Risky. But I guess it paid off. Best kind of risk. Amspichel ended up worse off later, but it was great for me. She was fun. We ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the century. Agent, we need to talk. I just heard from headquarters. Keeper finally came through on a promise he made when I joined up. Keeper is contacting you instead of me now. Some watcher sent the message. Not really the point. I asked you guys to find Anne Spichel, old friend of mine. I told you about her. We hooked up after I left Rat Attack. Last time I saw her, she saved my life and got me to Hada. I owe her big. Now she's in trouble. You said she saved your life? On Ord Mantel. I messed up and she covered my tracks. She crossed some exchange buddies on Nar Shadda. Report didn't give details, but I can guess how it went down. I'm gonna head over, kill the exchange, and save the girl. You should come with. You want my help? You've got it. Let's go. Good choice. And so you know, we do this right, I've got a surprise plan for us. Alright. But yeah, they'll have to wait because unfortunately Kalia we can't leave just yet. We first need to go and lock it with your Yanol's hideout and then we can go to Tatooine. But yeah, this is basically the agent's way of uh, like the the bounty hunter had to go back to Hata. Then the uh, Sith Inquisitor had to go back to Korriban. The Jedi uh, the Sith Warrior has had to go back to um, a space station and this is the agent's way of uh, those missions so yeah anyway so yeah, I won't be bulk recording I may perhaps bulk record one more episode after this but that'll then be it so yeah anyway let's make a left go up to the spaceport and we still can't quick travel, so while we're going down there, I will actually open up the mission log. And we will... Shadow of the Dark Lord, alright. Uh, now where was it? Upper office, it will really find you. Great doesn't really tell me anything of where do I need to go but fine 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 vehicle pads are currently open for business there are sector right and maybe we actually we did gain another level which means only two levels to get acid blades nice now, fun fact about yesterday, why it actually took me so, a lot longer than normal to actually upload the vids. Basically because I actually uploaded the wrong trooper vid. Yeah. Don't worry, I didn't remove it. It's, bas it's still on there because basically I'll, it'll probably be released when uh, I'm converting this vid. So you guys can already actually watch it. But yeah. That's basically why it took me a lot longer than normally to upload uh, the vids for the agent and the trooper. So yeah, um, still two, 200 hours left before uh, the deadline when we should be finishing the agent and the trooper off. Oh, hello, Fixer7. You guys all want to read this? Uh, just pause the vid. There we go. Drop down, drop down. I actually wonder how long can I actually keep this mail uh, 
like this, so you guys can actually read something when we're go driving. <laughs> Uh, our location, oh it shouldn't be, it's up here, alright, and then take a, uh, my, oh my god, it's actually really close, right, I have, actually haven't been used to that, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna close it now, here we are, let's enter back stealth mode, And we are. I remember it was that wind that Kalia actually wants us to go, right? Because for some weird reason, I actually saw something green. Oh no, it's an Arshida, right? And fine, and we'll be doing that after this one. Right? Hello, bodyguard. Let me just stab you in the back. There we go. Let me just kill you. There we go. Right, time to kill the enforcer. Right. Get away! I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. Are you Vjord Yarnel? You know who I am. You wouldn't be here otherwise. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic, the Macrosa Order, the Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Zorid? Ah, the idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. It's already too late for that. Fool! Everyone Jadis ever touched! We'll all be destroyed. Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. Let's load him up and get going. You know, you'd think a high-up advisor would carry a few more credits. All right. Hmm. Alright, that's a little bit weird. What's the research stuff? Alright. That's all actually interesting and all, but anyway going back to upper industrial sector and then we need to go where was it Corellia sector right we can immediately actually just travel to that area I'm doing this nope just want that close there we go thank you now we didn't gain any new abilities nope all right all right here we go And 
and that mission is located all the way in the back crate. Right, I'll just keep going. I'll be right back, guys, sir, but... Right, so back guys, and we're back. So yeah. Anyway, halfway through the episode, so yeah. We have a mercenary level three, not bad. Mm. Not bad to finish all uh, Narsha down level thirty because they basically are already pretty much this level to uh, finish all drawn. So yeah. Anyway, here we go. Wait, what? Really, there we go. Let's put you to sleep, kill you. Getting good. Hmm? Oh, there you are. Yes, sir. Lock and load, sir. Right, there we go. And here we go. Think that's most of the gang. Hey, Ansem, get out here. You're rescuing me? What am I, your princess? If you were a princess, <laughs> you might be worth something. Shut up and toss me a gun. Who's your friend? I stole Kaleo from Nemro the Hut. We've been together ever since. Nemro, huh? How long were you with him? Long enough. You guys timed it good. By the way, they were gonna hang me to broil on a hollow sign. You got a way off world? Grab your stuff and meet us at the spaceport. I can get you a ride. You have a plan to get her off, Narshada? Not quite. Remember I said I had a surprise for you? There's a bounty on Anspachel. We saved her, we own her, now we're gonna sell her. We came here to rescue her. You told me she saved your life. She did. You wanna know how? She stuffed me in a box and shipped me to Hutta. I spent 12 weeks in muck working for a chem farmer. She humiliated me. I owe her for that too. I had doubts about this mission from the start. Now I find you've misled me. You don't have to do anything. I'll handle it. And you get half the money. She'll be waiting in the hangar either way. Think about it. Now what are we going to be doing? I mean, it's not an Imperial mission, so... <sighs> but she did mislead us by telling us I actually really don't know how we're going to be dealing with this. I mean, hmm. Anyway, here we are. Hey, you made it all right. Yeah, ran into one of Zenjo's guys. Left him a scar, but he's still breathing, so a ride sounds good right now. Give me 20 minutes, I'll set you up. Keep her company. I'll be back soon. I really do appreciate the help, but... Can I ask you something? Ask anything you want. Okay, this'll sound odd, but what did Kaleo say about us? She tell you we've known each other for years? Met after she left her home world? Big, long sob story? She told me. Even then, it didn't ring true. She's a habitual liar. I knew her for six months, and she'd been on her own forever. I don't even know where she's really from. So I have to wonder, is she really here to help? Or am I in even worse trouble? Kaleo plans to sell you to a bounty hunter. I assume she's fetching him now. Then I better get going. 
I owe you one. So where is she? I've got a bounty hunter waiting. I wasn't gonna let you sell her. You let her go? That's not your call. Now she's out there and she thinks she's better than me. What were you thinking? You bring me out here on a rescue mission, then you tell me we're selling a woman to bounty hunters. Fine, Agent. Next time, I won't ask. <laughs> right, time to go back onto a ship, finish Dark Zorid's mission, and then let's call it an episode, guys. So, yeah. All the crap I had to knees that time. Alright. First let's first have a quick chat with Kalio. So remember how I was gonna sell Anne Spichel to a bounty hunter and you let her go? I hope it was worth it. Finally convinced the buyer we weren't trying to scam him. You and Anspe talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? She said you were a habitual liar and that you'd only met in the past year. Yeah? Figure she'd say something like that. She's kind of crazy. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro. Guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. How do you think you measure up? You're really comparing me to your former partners. Don't be like that. Just figuring why, with all the nasty, smart, rich people I've been with, I ended up with you. We all need a break from the high life sometimes. I'm just joking, Agent. Joking. Get used to it. And there we go, guys. That was, chap I believe, chapter one which of Kalia's story. Anyway, here we go. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. Oh great, we get to go back to uh, Drummond Cars. Well, actually we don't need to travel, we can just do it like this. Speak to Darth Zorid, so yeah. Let's just do it like that. Also, if the screen actually goes black for just a few seconds, uh, yeah, apparently something happened with uh, XSplit. So, yeah. Anyway, exit to Drummond Cars. Because it actually told me something down here or something about BRB or something like that, so yeah. I'll have to look into that. Anyway. Here we go. DK Drummond Cars. And now I should normally just travel to. Yep, there it is. Nice. I believe that this will actually save us some time because we then need to travel. Walk all the way back up to the galaxy map, select Drummond Cars, go back outside of the ship, let the game load back in, go back out, let the game back load in of the space station, get on a cap and then travel all the way back down to here. And this way we actually only had to travel to the stronghold, tra exit Drummond Cars, and that'll basically be it. Pretty much two loading times, I think that that's normally. 
Hmm, not bad, not bad actually for Vet to walk into something like that. Hmm. Maybe I'll let uh, Vet's uh, new outfit for uh, Knights of the uh, Fallen uh, Eternal Empire uh, wear something like that. Anyway, here we go. See, I actually do like this blaster, actually. Do like it, really, yeah. Sound actually makes it sweet. Come in, dear Cypher. I was just listening to Lord Ulius's latest opera. Music brightens my day. And we of the Council have few bright days. You can't imagine the burden. My lord, why are there corpses on the floor? These? Oh, I, I think they were part of the aria. So, Fjord Yanel, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? I retrieved Yanel, as you commanded. Oh, Agent. Yanel and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. Anyone from Imperial Intelligence would serve the same. No reward, then. You will continue without my favor. Now leave me to my new advisor. Yanol and I need our privacy. All right. Fine. Creep. Don't need anything from you then. Anyway, here we go. Man, let's exit to the starship. And then from there on we'll probably will be traveling to I don't know. I don't think really we'll be traveling because next episode will be Tatooine and next one Aldron. Then it will be end of chapter one on Saturday, so yeah. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. How are they responding exactly? Increased chatter, transfer of goods, activation of safe houses. Fascinating, really. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Certainly intimidating, but what does that actually tell us? Barely enough to add to his profile. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. There we go, guys. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, guys.